Hello, very good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC News at One. At least 14 people have been shot dead in Denver, Colorado, after a gunman opened fire at a midnight premiere of the latest Batman film. The number of injured could be as high as 50. Eyewitnesses have spoken of a man wearing a mask, slowly making his way up the stairs and then firing, picking random people. Police have arrested the suspected gunman. He was found in a car park nearby. Our correspondent Zoe Conway reports. It was at 12.30 a.m. that people began frantically calling the emergency services. Witnesses reported seeing a gunman wearing a gas mask, a helmet and body armour. One witness said he was firing as he made his way up the stairs of the cinema, picking people at random to shoot at. Police say he then either made his way through an exit into the theatre or appeared behind the screen that was showing the Batman film. He then fired into the crowd. And we were right there, the fifth row from the shooter. People were scrambling left and right. My children got out first, me and my wife. We got down on our hands and knees. The people in the higher seating in the stadium seats, they were sitting ducks. Um, we proceeded to get out of there as quickly as possible. Uh, somebody behind us, maybe a straggler, um, was hit. My wife had fallen to the ground, partially trampled. Uh, I got her up and out of there and we took off. This is unverified mobile phone video, apparently taken inside the lobby of the cinema shortly after the shooting began. Witnesses say they heard explosions and a hissing sound and a canister of gas was released. We've seen three different patients in our nurse department with complaints of burning of their eyes and skin, mouth and nose. Uh, each of those patients were decontaminated uh, and released. Police have not named the suspect, but American media are reporting that he is 24 years old. Police caught up with him in the car park. They say he didn't resist arrest. They found a rifle, a handgun and a third weapon inside the cinema. He told police that he had explosives at his apartment, which was then searched by officers. Police are also checking cars for explosives. At this time, there is a residence in North Aurora. It's an apartment building that we have evacuated and we are dealing with the potential that there are explosives inside there. We're also concerned about explosives in the parking lot, hence the parking lot is completely sealed off. The youngest reported victim was just six years old. Her condition is not known. President Obama has released a statement saying that he and the First Lady, Michelle Obama, are shocked and saddened by the horrific and tragic shooting. The people of Aurora, he said, are in their thoughts and prayers. Zoe Conway, BBC News, Washington. Well, uh, you heard the voice in that report of Evan Dozier, who was in the cinema when the attack happened. We can actually speak to him now. And you were there with your family, your children included. Yes, I was. Well, just talk us through, when, when did you first realise that this wasn't some sort of a stunt and that something terrible was actually happening? Once the, the, the smoke grenade went off, that's when I began to wonder. And then when the shadowy figures emerged from the corner of the theater with his night vision and his armor and everything and he just opened fire like i would never seen anything like it in his life i mean it was very bad with his military weapon his military style and very bad it's i'm, I'm up right now it's this happened at like 12 15. it's like almost 5.30 our time in Colorado. No, I can imagine that y you probably are still in, in shock. How are your children dealing with what has been a terrifying ordeal for them? My children just went to sleep about 30 minutes ago. Um, they've been watching the news report and they're not going back to the movie. They don't want to go back to the movie. My wife does not want to go back to the movie. Um, she's shaken. She's been crying off and on. Um, you know, to be separated from your children and something like that is very devastating. And then to be reunited with the children, and you're just, we're all left with questions of why. Why did this happen? What is so bad in this world? I mean, I know we're, the world is in a bad economy globally, but to take this many lives at a movie theater. Who 
does that. Evan, I, no, and I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people will be echoing those thoughts right now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll let you get back to your family and uh, hopefully get some support in the coming days. Now, I've just uh, got some news breaking now because the police are releasing the name of the gunman and they have named him as James Home. And uh, that has been, uh, that's come in from the ABC News Network by, of course, the police. We can uh, join our correspondent now, Kim uh, Khasas, uh, who's with us. Reaction from the president to these events, and of course that news just coming in now, confirmation of the gunman's name, James Holmes. Is there any more information that you have been receiving, Kim? Well, President Obama was woken up at dawn here in Washington by one of his national security advisors, John Brennan, who informed him about the shooting just a few hours, about three or four hours after it had happened. Uh, we heard there in this report from uh, our colleague Zoe that President Obama has called for unity at this time of tragedy. Um, he has, uh, of course, expressed his, his shock at what had happened, uh, but it's always um, good to know that this call for unity in the United States, for the United States, for all American people to stand together as a family at a time when the country is divided in the midst of a very acrimonious uh, political campaign ahead of the presidential election. We also heard from Mitt Romney, uh, President Obama's Republican rival, who's also calling for everybody to come together, calling for the gunmen to be brought to justice as soon as possible. Now the police are still investigating this, of course, details are still emerging, but as you noted there, they've released the the name of the gunman. They also say that he be that they believe that he acted alone, but they are still investigating. And crucially, they say that they believe this is not connected to uh, militant terrorism, um, as we have seen sometimes in the past. These shooting ha these shootings happen in the United States. Uh, the latest this is possibly the worst one, though, since um, a, a, the Virginia Tech shooting on the university campus in 2007, when 32 people were killed. Okay, Kim, thank you. Okay, well, in today's other news, fierce fighting.